July 24th edition of Monday Night Raw. This was overall a really good episode of Monday Night Raw. We had kicked the show off with the Judgment Day, you know, Dominic talking about him being the NXT champ and all that stuff. Sami Zayn came out. Sami Zayn was like, put your money where your mouth is and defend your title against me. And Dominic agreed. But the first official match of the night was Becky versus Trish, not Trish, Zoe Stark. Um, obviously, Becky winning this match, thus she pretty much gets to face Trish, most likely, most definitely, like, confirmatively at SummerSlam. Um, this was actually a really good match, though, between Becky Lynch and Zoe Stark. A lot of these matches tonight were really good. Um, we, we heard a promo from Cody Rhodes basically saying, like, he's going to end this SummerSlam. He's going to end Brock Lesnar once and for all. But... Dominic took on Sammy for the North American Championship. This is a really good match, man. Um, back and forth, you know, like I said, really good. Um, even though Sammy looked good here despite losing, but um, they attacked, Judgment they attacked Kevin Owens. And the reason why they did this was, I guess, to write Kevin Owens off because apparently Kevin Owens suffered like an actual, a legitimate rib injury. So he's going to be out of action for quite some time now. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa took on Bronson Reed. This match, I felt like it started off solid, but like towards the end, it really started to get good here. Um, Bronson Reed did get the win here, but that was only because of the fact that Shinsuke came out there and Ciampa told him, like, if you come out there, like, we're going to have a problem. So let's say we're going to be getting a Ciampa and Shinsuke Nakamura match probably next week on Raw or maybe the Raw after SummerSlam. I don't know, but... Whenever that match happens, it's going to be really good there. Um, Liv Morgan was supposed to have a match with Rhea Ripley, but Rhea Ripley beat the absolute brakes off of Liv Morgan in this one, dude. And similar to Kevin Owens, Liv Morgan, unfortunately, is also injured as well. Apparently, she has a dislocated shoulder, so she's going to be out for quite some time as well. Um, and Liv, I got to say, she did a really good job selling the injury. Like, she really did a good job. Like, Rhea... I mean, she beat the absolute brakes off of Liv in this segment. Like, it, this was crazy. Ricochet came out. Obviously, Logan Paul's going to be here. I think we all knew what was going to happen. Ricochet challenging Logan for SummerSlam. Logan accepting. And um, Logan said he's going to be on Raw next week as well and have one final confrontation with Ricochet before the pay-per-view. So that should be good there. Um, and, yeah, nice nice little segment, I thought, between those guys. But, um uh, Damian Priest and Apollo Crews went at it. I didn't really care for this. This was like the one match tonight where I was just like, eh, I'm okay. Damian Priest wins. There's really nothing more I can say about that. Um, Drew and uh, Gunther came face to face. Those two uh, are confirmed for SummerSlam as well. And uh, freaking Ludwig Kaiser got involved. And so McIntyre ended up facing him. And those two, I thought, had a really solid match. It also got good towards the end here, given the time they were given. But um, uh, Drew McIntyre got the win, obviously. Uh, the rest of Imperium attacked McIntyre. Riddle came out there. Gunther just went on a tear until McIntyre was able to, you know, stop him and then power bombing him through the table. Um, I'm telling you, man, you, if you thought that triple threat match at Mania with Sheamus, McIntyre, and Gunther were good, McIntyre and Gunther might have, man, that might be another top 10 WWE match, man. Like, God forbid. Like, that's that's going to be a bar. That's going to be really good to see. Obviously, the main segment, as you see in the picture here, was the contract signing between Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Um, this was a, I thought it was a solid contract signing, you know. Uh, kind of predictable, though. Like, we kind of saw how the ending was coming. At least for me, that's how I saw it. But um, overall, this was a really good episode of Monday Night Raw. You know, the the, the, the build for SummerSlam continues, so that's going to be good there. And um, yeah, all in all, good show.